Hello guys, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again with another Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway review. And well, I know it's been well over a month now since my last Wooden Railway review, but well, uh, continuing the tradition from last year, I will now be doing uh, 2018 Countdown to Christmas reviews. So uh, yeah, anyway, so with only 10 days of Christmas, I mean, until, I mean, with 10 days until Christmas, December the 25th, Today is December the 15th, and so uh, I just uh, went ahead and decided the heck with it, and let's just go ahead and get started. So anyway, uh, anyway, here we have Norman. <clears throat> so, Norman was first introduced in Day of the Diesels, where basically he has had no speaking roles, no TV series involvement whatsoever, and just a lack of development at all. So, Norman is actually a, one of the most minor characters in the series, only having like three lines up to series 22, which is actually pretty sad to be honest. <clears throat> I actually wanted to see Norman get more of his own screen time in just at least one episode. I mean, if Paxton can get so much character development in Blue Mountain Mystery in season 17, then you give Sydney development, I mean, he gets his own, he got his own episode in season 20, so what about Norman? I mean, even Den and Dart have their own, um, even Den and Dart have their own character development in their own episodes, even in the Miller era, which were some of the, some of the best episodes in the Miller era, in my opinion, were the episodes developing these new characters. <clears throat> also, apologize for clearing my throat a lot, uh, just because allergies and everything. But, uh, anyway, uh, Norman's wooden railway model was first introduced in 2011 under the license of Tommy, and, well... Uh, it's too bad that Tommy was notoriously known for um, doing bad wooden railway models. Uh, in my opinion, the only ones that were bad were um, just this, the regular steam team models with their awful faces. With the rest of the characters, like the Scarloe railway engines, Paxton, Sydney, Norman, I mean, all of these guys were just absolutely amazing. They had great faces. And still, I think Tommy does have some of the best detail that we've ever seen on wooden railway items. For example, Norman has the um, outlined silver and the inside uh, red wheels. For example, Paxton used to have that as well on his Tommy model. And then when they went to Mattel, they obviously changed it. So, um, as far as I know, Norman is the only character to have a unibrow in the Thomas and Friends series, which is pretty unique in my opinion. He's also um, the brother of Dennis, and he is actually in the Thomas and Friends encyclopedia book which actually gives a bit more background of him, and apparently, um, he's basically Dennis's replacement, to be honest. They are the same, um, type of engine, even though Dennis has never been seen in the CGI series. That's something else I would want to see, Dennis come back to the show, and then maybe Norman and Dennis interact. So, um, his body is actually quite short, considering his cab is also very short, especially because you can see his running board protruding out to the end of his chassis, where his body doesn't. But he still does have some amazing detail, and I'm really proud to own this model, especially since um, it is one of Tommy's best. You can actually find Norman for pretty cheap on eBay if you're lucky enough like me. I found mine new in box for like $13, and I've had it for about two years. So uh, anyway, um, anyway, there's 10 days until Christmas, and thank you for watching this Countdown to Christmas review. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Max and Rocky, 15 and 16, signing out.